everybody can learn something from somebody. God commanded him, commanded him to go to straight streets to get some instruction. And when you remember somebody from back then, it's hard to believe who they are now in God. Baptized. When the Holy Ghost comes on you, you will know it and you will never be the same again. Somebody said, how do I know I've got the Holy Ghost? You will know if you got the Holy Ghost. You got to go and you got to tell somebody what God has done for you. And when you start practicing gratitude and being grateful, the first thing a man needs to do is when he starts his day is thanking God for waking him up in the morning. You know, I found out the more you pray and the more you thank God for his blessings, the more miracles begin to materialize in your life. The breath that God gives you, he, grateful. If things ain't going well with you, if you're never taking time to thank God for anything, start today. Then we begin to develop that spirit of gratitude, that mind of gratitude, that mind of believing that God can do anything but fail. You relax. It will cost me. The more God bless them, the more they mumble, and the more they complain. It can it kept money. Never said. Everything God was doing, he brought him from Egypt. And he brought him across the Red Sea. And he put him in a wilderness, and then they were heading for the promised land. But they were still mumbling and grumbling. And God heard they mumbling. He heard them. Appreciate what God is doing for them. How he's taking care of them. How he brought him across from Egypt. They laid in the wilderness like a baby, crying, moaning, groaning. And some of them didn't make it at all. And the question is, why should we be grateful? Even the breath you breathe is God's. And when these children in the general life began to mumble and grumble and just satisfy God, Moses then had to go into prayer to pray for him.